right. Well, uh, just to briefly go over what it is about that we're doing. So the Link Builders are, is part of the Ambassadors Project. And so to help keep the lights on at Winky Tree, we, uh, this is part of that work of uh, building links back to Wikitree from other places on the internet. It helps with our SEO rating on Google um, so that we're found more often and quicker on uh, searches that are done. So when you search for your ancestor, we hopefully can float to the top. <laughs> so um, that's what it's all about. And so we have some already uh, some examples ready to go how you can do it. So Wikidata is one place, which is if somebody has a Wikipedia profile, if you go into their, uh, let me just go into one of these that I did earlier this week. Let's see. I think I did Mike. I was working on Mike Pinder's family. Where's he at? I'll just go into him. Here he is, because he wasn't even um, he wasn't even in Wikidata when I did him. So a lot of people are already in Wikidata, uh, but there are some people who aren't. So all you do is you go to their Wikipedia profile. And if you look over here to the right under tools, you'll see an item called Wikidata item. And you'll notice right here, Wikitree, and it has the markup little links for uh, a template and then the inter internal link to Wikipedia article. So this is here because I have the Wikitree browser extension and Wikitree B and I have all these tools extensions that allows that to happen both on Wikipedia and on Find a Grave. So I just wanted to point that out if you're wondering what that was. <laughs> so if you click on Wikidata and you scroll down towards the bottom of the page, sorry for if I'm making you dizzy, but it's all it's usually all the way to the bottom. You can also just do a control F or command F or Wikitree to see if it's there. So this is what I did earlier. I can't remember what day it was, but it was earlier this month, maybe mid mid month. So Wikitree person ID, you just add in their 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 Wikitree ID right there, and it links to their Wikitree profile. So if you have somebody who doesn't have uh, a Wikidata entry for Wikitree. All you do is you go here to add statement at the bottom of this list and just start typing in the property field, just start typing in Wikitree. And there's an option for person ID. You'll notice here that there's also an option for Wikitree category or space page. So that's something else that I've been doing. We don't have a way to track that for the challenge. Um, but that's another way you can build links back to Wikitree is to add like uh, Roswell, New Mexico, you could add in the Wikidata page for Roswell, New Mexico, Wikipedia article, you can add the link back to the category for Roswell, New Mexico on Wikitree and or the space page, if there's a space page like or, or one place study. So um, we also have like Doctor Who, we have a space page for the Doctor Who project. So that's another place you could link back to that from the Doctor Who article. So just different ways you can link back to Wikitree. And then once you've put in uh, their person ID, all you do is you hit this publish button and that's all you have to do. It's that easy. When um, there is a find a grave for them. All you have to do is go into their find a grave memorial. And sorry, it's taking a little bit to come up 
my internet's a little bit, I don't know what the word is, it's uh, finicky. <laughs> so all you have to do is you go here to leave a flower. The one I left is like, I think it got, oh, maybe somebody removed it, but you just go to choose, if you go to leave a flower and then I have flowers in my scrapbook and we have this heart that's saved on the link builders page that you can just use as your flower. And then I just put the wiki tree ID like that. And that's how it looks then when it shows up on their profile, on their memorial page. So it's not on find a grave, it's not an actual link but it's getting the word out there that way on their, on that site um, because find a grave doesn't allow URLs. And then family search, um, I just, in the notes section, hi, Tania. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so in the notes section, I just put, uh, an, I just had a note with the same thing I put on the fam, find a grave one with a little, additional note, Wikitree profile contains additional sources and information. So when you add a note here, it also shows up in the collaborate tab. So it's kind of nice because you, you know, if somebody's just looking at the top part, they can see that there's some, something in there. Um, another place I add is Ancestry. So uh, not all of the records for Ancestry, but if there is like a um, a birth registration or a death registration. I'll go into that record on Ancestry and put the same thing. You know, you can do a comment. Um, let me just open him up real quick in Ancestry so you can see what that looks like. Here he is. Okay, so here's his marriage record. I think. So right here, you can add a public comment. Oh, that's not what I want to leave. <laughs> so um, I know that if I'm working in Ancestry on somebody and I see a comment like that, or somebody's made like a comment about, oh, the place name is wrong or something, I, I always pay attention to those. So it's just another little place where you can kind of make people aware. Uh, of WikiTree. So, and then there are different fandom sites like Wikipedia, Targets Wiki, um, Discogs, IMDB is an inter industry site, you know, the internet movie database. So on there, you can actually go into their IMDB profile and um, Oh, I need to be on my other thing, but you can, if you're logged in, just a second, I have to open up my other browser window because that's where my sign is, sign in is with. <laughs> that's my Wikitree uh, browser and this is my personal browser. <laughs> so, so here's his, his profile. And if you scroll down to, the bottom and you're logged in of course uh, you can go to edit page it's going to take a little bit and all the way down to the bottom again links to other sites and if you just go to the miscellaneous and add one item and then hit continue i've already got <laughs> a whole bunch of store you know it it saves what I've done before, so, and I've already done this for him, but, um, so it's already in here, but, uh, but that's all it is, is it's, and then you just click check these updates and submit, which I won't submit because I already did this one, but um, it, it's really that easy to do. And so it's just a, another nice little place to link back to WikiTree. So there on the space page for Link Builders Challenge, I've got also um, the different places. And then 
at, as a little numbers here, if you go down to the notes section, I've got some WikiTree Plus searches ready to go that you can kind of modify if you'd like. So if I think this is, where was I? Here we go. So here's one as an example. So I'm looking for orphan profiles where the, it has the domain imdb.com and the uh, death date is greater than 1970. So here's just some profiles where somebody's added an IMDB link or URL to their, their profile. So that to me, that means they might have a, they might be a notable. So I'm just gonna, gonna go in and check it out and see if they have an IMDB page, then I can go in and add that link back to Wikitree then. So you can do that with any, um, that domain field search is really nice because you can do it for TARDIS Wiki or, and so I've got those ready to go on the page. Uh, Discogs, Star Wars, fandom.com, TARDIS fandom.com. So, so if anybody has anything like that, feel free to reach out and let me know because we, I can update the page and let everybody else know some good places to look for stuff to add back. So I have to get at least one more. So I, it has to be 50. I'm at 49 right now. <laughs> gotta even out your numbers, huh? <laughs> yeah, I gotta round it up. Uh. So that's why I was pulled up this report. I was going to see what, what I could do. Here we go. Let's see what this one is. But in order to get to the challenge tracker, uh, you got to make some kind of edit to the profile. So I'll work on that one later. Let me try to see if I can find one that's a little bit. Here we go. Okay, let's see what this one is. What have you been working on, Tanea? Well, during the um, Connectathon, I was adding people and connecting people from a historic African American Historic Cemetery in Nashville, and so I was uh -huh. I was adding in my um, link building as I was doing that. And as I train people awesome. how to do this, I'm going to show them the link building too so maybe um the people i work with will start doing that too but um but yeah i, I love, love it i love the link building so i mostly do find a grave and family search right now uh -huh. so. yeah that's awesome i mean every every bit helps really yeah oh this is a quick edit i can do this notable stickers goes below the biography so that's just a quick edit let me get his profile ID. And I'm over at an IMDb. Jeff, what have you been working on in Appalachia? Um, hmm. Well, it's a little all over the place. I'm cranking down <laughs> through, um, mostly through uh, the FS Match app. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. nice. um, almost all the profiles I create are Appalachia because I, I am primarily mm -hmm. creating folks in um, um, the cemetery my my grandfather's buried in or or those in the I follow family links until I hit the county line or uh, mm -hmm. you know run out of family members mm -hmm. um, so they they tend to pretty much all be Appalachia I'm on page 18 right now and I can I can crank out a lot of links on family search real quick with it. Um, they're yeah, not going to get as many nice. views as, as like, uh, you know, your, your folks on Wikidata and, and IMDb and stuff, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but still, I mean, you know, there, are, there are a lot of family members that will look at that profile and it mm -hmm. just takes one person to pull, we'll pull into the, into the orange light. <laughs> The Hopefully. Tree orange. <laughs> Hopefully, I'd love I'd love some more cousins on here. That's for sure. I got, yeah, uh, plenty of tree to share. So I have a question um, 
about IMDb when you add in the additional page. Where uh -huh. does it show up on the profile of the person once you add the link to Wiki, the note about WikiTree? Okay, just give me a second. I'll finish okay. this. And we'll I'll go to yours. one that I, <laughs> I, I did a little while ago so we can see. Let's see, what am I doing? Albert. It's been Monday for a couple of days for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since Sunday, it's like, I felt like it's a Monday because it's just, I keep like thinking it's the different time or I don't know. It's just kind of crazy. there's a to leave as many links in one trip as possible <laughs> <laughs> See if he has a record on. Yeah, there he is. Is that him? Do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> Too many tabs open. There we go. Okay, I got my 50. <laughs> Excellent. Yay. Okay, so one I did way back in, let's see. I know that um This is one that I did a long time ago. So it should still be there, hopefully. fairly short. Oh, it's not there anymore. Yeah, so this can happen where uh, things will go, things might be removed. Yeah, because it should be, it should be here somewhere. Okay, and it, will there see. typically be a section called links to other sites? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. What about... Let's see, I think I did some last month. Let's just double check. Oh, yeah. See. There certainly should be more here for him. Uh, as he has. That works. Maybe they've changed the way they do the page. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering because I just did him not too long ago. 
yeah, last month. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Let me look at my contributions. I know where I'll find it in my email. They email you every time you do a contribution. Oh, okay. Oh, see, it's approved, but where is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Just missing it somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. We may have to write them and ask because maybe they did something you didn't realize it's not there. Or who knows? There's my contribution history page. That's what I was looking for. See. Um. Trying to find somebody who has like should have external links on the page. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. their own, their own. Um, we do have another regular brush page. City listings, other works, spouse. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a message. Yeah, I've just been adding links and adding links, and they keep approving, approving, approving. But where are they? <laughs> yeah, because I was going to start doing some IMDb. So I'm glad you showed this because I, I wasn't quite sure where you go to add it. But then I went to go look at the page just now. I was like, well, I don't see it on the page um, where this section is. So. Oh, external sites. There it is. More from this person. Okay. All right. Yeah. Photographs, miscellaneous sites, 13 more. There we go. Uh, genealogy of J.R.R. Drogas. There it is. Yeah, because there's is the Wikipedia article too. Because there should be yeah. a Wikipedia article link as as well for most of these people. Okay. So yeah, I like have this uh, contribution history. You mm -hmm. can get to all the ones you've done and check on them or whatever. So it's nice. Oh yeah, and if there is somewhere else that we can add um, a link back to, because uh, I know there are other fandom sites or. Um, you know, maybe there's a big one I'm not thinking of. Just let me know because I can add it so that it's an option in here in the list of options when you've um, done a profile. Okay. I, you know, one thing I started, started doing just this week was when I do clippings on newspapers.com, I'll yeah. put I'll put them, I'll put the wiki tree ID in the title. So it's, if it's like obituary of Joe Smith. And I'll put awesome. his, his ID at Wikitree next to it. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add newspapers. Newspapers.com, yes. Add that. <laughs> That's perfect. Because I do clippings for everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to write that down. I'll take care of that. So it's an option for, for next month, starting next month. And then um, at, at the end of the month, I do tally up how many, you know, for each person, that participated for the month, um, how many ancestors they added links back to, and then by site, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, how many links have now, been added for the month. If we do an action and it has three sources in there, 
Does that get counted as three links? <laughs> yeah, I count it. I count it. You you can add as many as see like here I have uh this is a profile added for USBH project. Mm -hmm. So I, I was adding um I was adding or no, this is something else. Well, anyway, you can if if you are using multiple challenge trackers. So if you're doing two challenges, you can do uh, like USBH, click that one first and choose your option. And then you can then use the challenge tracker again for in the same screen. You don't have to do anything yet. Don't click save yet. Um, you can then also select link builders and select which ones you want on the buttons you want all at once. So it's all on one line. All right. And then Wait I tally, up. I look, what I do is I pull this, these reports that are, mm -hmm. that are done for mm -hmm. each person. And I pull it into a spreadsheet and I, I do a this, I do stats against it. All right. But if I am, let's say I'm at my 100th link and I do an action to say, I added a link to a person on family search and that same action, I say, I did a link to that person at ancestry. Once I enter that action, am I going to be at 101 or 102? Just one, okay. because it's for it's the this tracker is tracking just by the ancestor. Okay. Alesh was going to be adding another report that showed how many links you added, like the total number of links, but mm -hmm. um, he hasn't been able to get that done yet. I don't. He, I know he does a lot of other things. He does so a I, lot. Yeah. <laughs> But I can tell you, because I have the stats sheet, I, I'm keeping the stats, so I can tell you how many links you added for each month by site, or just how oh, many I, links total you added. Yeah, I keep so, track of that too, so you don't, yeah. you, I don't need to ask you to do that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I'm keeping track of that because I, I yeah. like I said, I grab that data, you know, cool. do some number crunching. Because cool. I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people on WikiTree are. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Proud it's to so be a fun. nerd. <laughs> so I'll, I'll never admit how much time I spend tallying up cemetery uh, category <laughs> accounts. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, that's that's getting off topic. But since you mentioned cemeteries, <laughs> Jeff, I'd like to ask you when you were when you worked in your cemeteries, how are you? compiling your your data are you just going page by page to find a grave or are you doing something else or printing out your pages how are you doing that um no none of the above so i would go to uh the 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 cemetery where i like to start um and i just open up any find a grave memorial that's um that is not does not have a clicked link Mm -hmm. um, yes. Or I can go to the category on WikiTree and and do the same thing. Open a profile from mm -hmm. this uh, not clicked, and once I once I'll uh, I have I set up two windows, you know, WikiTree on the left and Find a Grave on the right. I'll say um, I'll add that memorial in if it's not already in there, and then uh, I'll go. Oh well, look, they have they have two spouses and four kids. Yeah, so you add them into. And I'll open each one of mm -hmm. them, work okay. my way down through, add all those, and then before I close each tab, I make sure that all the links are clicked. Uh, sometimes you, you gotta be a little choosy, you know, sometimes uh -huh. you end up with 500 tabs that you can't close cause they're, <laughs> <laughs> they still have unclicked links, but, um, I just kind of keep going that way. And then I stop as, if on a profile, if I hit, like, if I start going outside the County line, mm -hmm. um, I don't usually add profiles for folks that, um, don't have headstone photos, mm -hmm. um, at least through that process. Mm -hmm. I'll do it another way. Cool. So uh, just to, to mention, because uh, Kathy and Tanea, you were here when I was explaining about Wikidata. And so I don't know if you'd already know this or heard. So I but... haven't been able to follow the process with Wikidata very well. So I'm okay. interested in this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so on a Wikipedia page, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you just go over here under the tools and click on Wikidata item, right over here on the right. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna app, uh, open up their Wikidata page. And then I just do a control F for uh, search for Wikitree. 
uh, helps if I spell it right. <laughs> so uh, this one I was already done, but just to show what you do, you just click add statement. And if you start typing in wiki tree into this property ID field, you'll see there's an option for wiki tree person ID. Okay. So if you select that and then you put their profile ID into this field, then all you have to do is click publish. Oh, and so there's, a, okay. Okay, I see. All right. So another option, if you're, it's not trackable for the challenge yet. Mm -hmm. I've asked mm -hmm. if we could add it, but it's a little bit different because it's space pages and categories. But the other option here is, like say you are working a one place study or you're working on a cemetery that has a page on Wikipedia. And so they mm -hmm. have a Wikidata page. Uh, note, not every Wikidata page has a Wikipedia article. Just uh, there, yes. there are those. So if you do find a Wikidata page for a cemetery that you're working, you can go in to uh, this section, add statement, and then select wiki tree category or space. And then you, all okay. you have to do is drop the space ID in here. So I'll show you, let me show you what the one I did. I think I already did it for um, my one place study. Scroll all the way down to the bottom here. see if it's here. Might have gotten. Okay, so I have a one place study. Let me just So if you just click the ID, copy ID button for the space page or for mm -hmm. the category, and then go back over to here. Category or space, just paste that in there. You just, do you need to change this so that um, it's the comma and not the code for the comma? <laughs> okay. But that's all you have to do. And then you can hit publish. And so now you've built another link back to mm -hmm. WikiTree from the Wikidata. So that that's an option for categories and space pages, which is great. So yeah. really like any subject, right? Because like I have a Doctor Who project. Yeah. You could... <laughs> that on a profile, it may say a suggestion for like, wiki data um shows up as a suggestion on the bottom of the profile um a couple of times i've seen it where the date for either birth or death is different in the wiki data than what like we have on wiki tree and what's on wikipedia yeah yep i had it, some of those that I is, fixed last month. Do we just go ahead and fix them to match what we have as long as we have the source to back it up? Yes. Yeah, so let me show you what I did. Um, I did some of those. Okay. This last, this last month. So here's my contributions uh, page. Let's see. Okay. So date of birth was, was on Mort Lindsay was wrong. So if I go into this wiki data for him, I updated that and then in here, I actually added as a reference right here, if you go down to here. So after editing it to be correct, cause I have, okay. a, I think I have a, a record that has that as the actual date. So I corrected it there, publish, and then go to add reference. And then like down below in the statement section, in here, within this statement of date of birth, you can add 
wiki tree person ID, and that's your reference for that change. Okay. So that's the way you can you can do that. Okay, because I've just changed a couple of them on on the wiki data, but I was like, well, someone comes back and gets mad at me. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's what I that's what I've been doing. Um, I okay. also corrected because it was actually it was actually saying that it's importing it from uh, Russian Wikipedia or even one said English Wikipedia, and it was it actually didn't match what was on Wikipedia. Right, Wikidata did not match Wikipedia, so so I corrected it. So yeah, so Wikidata should match. Yeah, it should. Us and well, us as in WikiTree and Wikipedia, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's another place where you can add the WikiTree ID. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. You're saying reference this. This is a source. Is I didn't see Dan Danita's not on, right? No. Nope. Okay. I believe no. she's in Italy, so she's she's usually sleeping oh, now. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Well, we won't tell her I just passed her then. I... <laughs> <laughs> See, I keep forgetting about link builders, about adding adding this stuff. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I keep forgetting to do it. I need to do that. And I'm sure I'm not on the scoreboard for April. But I will hopefully be for May. Cool. I have to pop out, but it was good to see y'all. Is the next one at the end of May? Is this once a month? Yeah, it's the last Tuesday of every month. Okay, got it. Well, hopefully I'll see y'all next time. Okay. <laughs> good to see you. Yes. <laughs> is the wiki data just for people that have Wikipedia pages or is it for anybody? There, oh no, Wikidata is yeah. um, usually that because there's some people that are in Wikidata that aren't don't have a Wikipedia article, okay. or they might only have one article in like Polish language, not in English, right? So, okay, but it usually they are notable or. Um, I know there are some entries in Wikidata that are like part of the um, noble lineage book or whatever. Can't think of what it's called right now for some reason. I'm just totally drawing a blank. Um, like earls and you know that that right royal. You know what I'm type. talking? About. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're in like a book like that, sometimes they'll have Wikidata and they won't have an article. Okay. Like if they're in that. If they're in that country's whatever they use to make them a notable, but they don't have a Wikipedia page. Right. The, the English version, yeah. Yeah. They could they could be in German or whatever language, but they're not in. Okay. There's not a how how do I want to say this? A list of everyone that has a wiki data page somewhere yeah. there um you mean on wiki tree well, or on, you mean just everybody who has a wiki yet wiki data everybody that has like wiki data do they have like a central place that you could go so to so it looks like there's a query service that you could query wiki data because I'm just wondering if they have some kind of search that it's this person has a wiki data page or whatever you want to call it, um, but they don't have the wiki tree ID on it. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. There's a Wikitree profile, but there's, there's no link to Wikidata. So I have a link in the on the page that I thought would give us that. <laughs> so, but I, I'm thinking it's not showing. So I, I did a Wikitree, uh, Wikitree Plus search for 
profiles that have a notable sticker, right? But you could look for profiles. This is what this is looking for. Profiles that have the notable sticker, but there is no wiki data template on their profile. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean they don't have wiki data. Right. Because it just might mean somebody hasn't actually put the template on there. I thought that, you know that was what? what it would give us, but I have one of them. What's that? I have an ancestor who's got a Wikipedia. He now has a wiki tree, but I have not been able to put everything together and I haven't been able to get him connected to me yet. Oh, there's like 20 of them sitting right there. So it's driving me nuts. Okay. I cuz I'm just I I'm just trying to is... So See here's an example a... one uh, uh, from the report or the okay the thing I wrote. So if you have the extension, you can see there's not a link. So this is this is one of those. There's not in Wikidata. There's not the link to Wikitree. Okay. For this profile. So I'm going to do that right now while I'm in here. <laughs> okay. And actually, I take that back. I think somebody did add Wikipedia to it finally. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm looking at him. Um, let's see who did that. Let's see. Oh, D did. D Spencer did that. Nice. So yeah, now he's linked. Now all I have to do is it still says um still says he's a notable connection. He was an unconnection. Now it says notable connection, but he's only linked via his wife. And now I have a problem and I'm going to ask you here when we're done to help me fix the Tory line because I found a major error in it. Okay. Happy to help. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's like she did that. Okay. Wikidata, Wikipedia. Me. Oh, she looked, oh, she also listed the, uh, listed the website for the main memory also. I just want to show this real quick. So like if I'm just giving an example, but if I was also doing the USBH profile or connecting challenge, you do that challenge tracker update first and then okay. select link builders like that. Um, this one doesn't qualify for the USBH, but <laughs> that just right. kind of gives you an idea. You can do, but you need to do the other challenge first and then the link builders challenge and you'll be able to do both. Okay. Cause I know you were saying last month when using the tracker for the link builders that we can put all the places that we did all at add, once, all on one line, all on one line. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to create a second second entry. Okay. I did remember that. Yay. <laughs> Something stuck. Okay. <laughs> so well, that was that was time. really fun. Thanks for joining me, you guys. So I think this is the report you want though, Kathy. Okay. Um, so it's it's just this first note on the link builder challenge page. Okay. Which is, uh, there's a link to it in the chat here for the Zoom call. Okay. And I'll add it to the channel too. Okay. The um, Actually, I'll be doing a new post tomorrow and then the stats tomorrow. Okay, so, I'll just wait um, till then. I'll update the channel with that information and pin it. So it'll be pinned okay. to the channel. So you'll be able to find it real easy. 
And if so, you find that that doesn't work, if you find one where it does have wiki wiki tree in the wiki data, let me know. And we'll talk to Alesh about how we need to change it up a little bit. Cause I think okay. it's right, but um, anyway. Yeah, I, I'm just, it's like I had a question for him. We should just ask him for the next Ask Alesh. I'll just, I'll just pose it on the next Ask Alesh post. Uh, isn't that tomorrow? No. It's, a, no, it's next, week, the following Wednesday. Oh, next week. Next week. Okay. Yeah, he has a yeah. holiday. It's a holiday week for where he's at right now, so. That's his post, right. Uh, his post just went up today, if I recall. I think, yeah. I think he said he was going skiing on tomorrow yeah he's, he's in vacation mode <laughs> yeah i can't blame him well thank you and i will see you next month unless i see you on Something the challenge else. calls for the wiki tree challenge yeah 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 i'm captain neen randy yeah. nice yeah, yeah thanks for doing that that's great i'm looking forward to it so yeah and then tomorrow we're doing the YouTube challenge uh, reveal for Leanne's week. Yes. And I'll be watching that. Cool. So, All okay. right. Well, have a good evening. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you Bye. for the information, Azure. Yeah. Anytime.